Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. We're going to be talking about the complete cold email guide, how to think about cold emails, how to get massive results with it, and basically answering all of the most common questions in terms of how much should I be sending a day, etc, etc, right? Because over the course of my career so far, I've sent uh, probably five to 10,000 cold emails, like personally. That's excluding the kind of volumes that my team has done, and I feel like I'm decently qualified to teach you guys a little uh, thing or two, right? So let's dive into it. When it comes to... Um, Cold email, there's three things that you're gonna need before you start. A warmed up domain or multiple warmed up domains if you wanna be safe, right? Uh, this is basically to increase, make sure your sender reputation is already solid uh, before you start sending to uh, sending any outbound emails pretty much because that way you're not gonna land in spam. Next is uh, you're gonna need some sort of lead generation software. So that would be things like Snov, LinkedIn Sales Navigator, Sales QL, things along those lines. Basically to find the uh, emails of decision makers, I already have videos on the channel explaining that. So I'm not gonna dive into too much detail there. Next thing you're gonna need is sending softwares, right? So this would be something to help you send emails automatically. Um, I know some people advocates, uh, advocate sending directly in Gmail manually. However, I find that to be a pretty tedious process and I just don't really like it. Um, I prefer to use things like uh, Lemless, there's also like mail gun, I think, or something. Uh, but Lemless is definitely my software of choice. Now, let's dive into the real value of this video because that's what you're here for. Um, we're going to be talking about the cold email equation because I feel like a lot of people get this wrong because everyone that asks me about cold emails in my DMs is either asking, how do I send, like, what templates work, right? what messaging works or like some sort of variations about the quality of cold email. The second type of question I get is, how much should I be sending? And actually there's a third question. It's like, I'm, I, I'm doing cold emails, but I'm not seeing results. How can you fix this, right? And it always comes back to this like equation, right? Which is the results you get from cold email is a multiply, multiplication of the volume in which you do and the quality, okay? So quality meaning the quality of your offer, the scripts, things along those lines, and the volume is basically just how much you're sending on a daily basis, right? And you multiply that, you get results, right? So really simple equation, right? But to help you visualize it on like a graph, uh, on a graph, imagine there's two people, right? Person A doesn't isn't like the smartest with cold email, right? Like they're not the best at writing scripts. They're not a copywriter, and they just overall they're just not very good, right? But they take massive action on a daily basis and they send out 50 a day, okay? Whereas person B, great copywriter, world class, right? His quality is top notch, but he only sends 10 a day. So the difference in volume is why person A is able to get much better results compared to person B. On the outside looking in, you might think, oh, person A scripts are better. But no, person B script is better, except the difference in volume is what compensates for the difference in results, right? So in the beginning, most likely you're gonna be more like person A where your script writing and things along those lines just kind of suck. But you can always compensate for that with massive volume, which is exactly how I got started, right? I wasn't very good at writing scripts. I got better through iteration, but because my volume was high as fuck, I was able to sign between 15 to 20 clients in my first year, okay? So next. Second biggest question I get asked is, how much should I be sending, right? And generically, I always used to tell people, you know, you should be sending as much as you possibly can. However, and that's true, that still takes uh, takes into effect. However, the caveat to that is, most people hear that and they just think, oh, however much I can is however much I can be bothered with. No, no, you idiot, right? However much you can is actually the number you can physically fit into your day. That's what I mean. Right? Obviously, the more cold emails you send, the more opportunities you have at closing meetings, and then, you know, meetings turn into sales, right? So, when I say however much you possibly can, it means literally however much you can fit into the day, not however much you have the energy for, okay? So, to give you guys more specific quotas, right? If you have zero clients and are just getting started, you're one person, right? You have no team members, no appointment setters, no nothing, right? You should be hitting 30 every single day, okay? Monday to Friday minimum. You can do Saturdays as well, but Saturdays are slightly less effective, okay? So Monday to Friday, you need to be sending minimum 30 in order to get your foot off the ground. Back in 2020, this number was actually 20. However, you know, the, the barrier to entry is just higher, right? You need to be sending 30 a day. If you are you have a couple clients, but you're less than 10,000 a month, right? You should be sending still 30 a day, but you need to outsource to a lead sourcer because finding the leads and generating the leads is actually the time consuming part, 
right? So you want to be outsourcing the cheapest task and lead generation you can typically buy leads for anywhere from uh, 25, uh, 20 cents all the way up to around 45 cents depending on how qualified they are, right? So it will be you and a lead sourcer if you're doing less than 10k a month and you're still sending 30 a day, right? To scale, if you're below 50,000 a month, right? You should be working with you, a lead sourcer and an appointment setter handling the replies, right? At this point, you should be good enough to get um, are replying to emails and closing meetings to the point where you can actually hire an appointment setter to do the replies for you and train them up, okay? And at this point, you should be sending 60 a day, right? So 60 times five is 300 a day, times four, which is about a month just over, um, just under, sorry, which is gonna be 1.2K outbound emails every single month, okay? So that's how much you, you should be send, sending if you're under 50K a month. If you do this, I promise you're gonna be onboarding at least two, three clients minimum easily every single month, right? Now, if you're under 100,000, it should be you, uh, lead sourcer, SDR, and a salesperson, and you should be sending minimum 100 a day, right? So that gets the quotas out of the way. I'm, most, I'm guessing most of you guys would belong in this bracket right here. It's no problem. You're gonna, if, you, if you follow 30 per day for like, you know, three months, you're gonna be at 10K a month. Trust me on that one, right? Uh, by the way, provided that, you know, your domain warming is uh, solid and you're not learning and stuff. Right. Hey guys, Rob the News, I just wanted to show you something that I created over the weekend while I was making this video to help you guys um, basically write cold emails that actually convert, right? Because, um, so, so yeah, link in the description below. It's a quick cold email agency acquisition playbook for you to learn. Uh, basically, all of the software that you're going to need to get started, script writing frameworks, how to follow up. Um, how to actually handle positive replies, negative replies, how to handle questions as well, as well as uh, pre-meeting kind of like structures that I like to do. Um, now I have attached a very small price tag on it just because last year, well, the last time I released it, anything cold email related, the method got saturated very quickly. So I want to make sure this doesn't just go out there and go viral, right? So if you want to get it and if you don't like it, if you don't find it valuable, just shoot me a DM and I'll happily refund you every cap. Anyways, have a good one. Next, how do you actually write quality scripts? Well, to kind of like uh, dumb this down for you guys, right? To make it super easy under to understand. There's four things you need in every good script, right? And that's basically you need to have a guarantee, which is just um, making it risk free, right? For potential clients to onboard. You need to have a really solid offer. So basically your offer just needs to be a desired outcome, right? Plus a way of getting them that kind of stands out a little bit and also implying, you know, who else have you helped, which kind of brings me on to authority, which is basically referencing past case studies. And if you don't have case studies, if you're in the zero stage, then you might want to reference some of the things that you already know. So for example, um, I can help uh, X store recover 30% of their abandoned cart or, you know, 34 to make it specific and make it believable, right? So that can bring you authority and you can talk about the more specifics of how. You can also point to the content that you've made. So this is something that I've started incorporating recently in my outbound strategy, which is pointing them to my LinkedIn, pointing them to my YouTube channels, right? Because I've optimized those and I've taught a bunch of incredible knowledge. And if they just see that, click on any of my videos, they're gonna know that I know what I'm talking about when it comes to email marketing, right? In terms of the service that I deliver, as well as giving a bunch of case studies or so. So authority is really important. You need to be able to convince them and make it very obvious that you know what you're talking about. And lastly, you need to have a call to action, right? Every cold email needs a call to action, whether it be, hey, you got time to schedule on a call next Tuesday at 10, or it could be, you know, do you have availability in your calendar to book in a call? Basically some sort of variation of, hey, can we get on a meeting? Or you can just ask them to reply. Personally, I've found better success with nowadays just asking for them to reply with any questions or something along those lines because it's lower barriers to entry. There's no really time commitment on their behalf. And overall, it's just like a better strategy to go about it, right? That's all of the basic frameworks. If you want to get specific templates, as I said, I'll link to my ebook in the description below. But if you're an agency that's already making some money and you're really looking to scale your acquisition, then I would recommend you book in a call with my friend Charlie down in the description below. They run Imperium Agency. I was a client of theirs last year. And honestly, Honestly, their program is like the best in the market by a huge margin. Um, they, they got me through cold email, I booked on a call with them, became the friends with the co-founders and they're just really cool guys and they helped me a ton with their agency. So yeah, I'm affiliated with them, but obviously I'm not going to show my name for like a shitty program, right? So book on a call if you're really looking to scale your acquisition and thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.